afternoon everybody and welcome back to the vlog today is tuesday may 31st last day of may y'all last day of may anyway it is like around three o'clock maybe a little bit after three and this is my first time outside today i just i think my sinuses are getting the best of me today i've just been kind of tired and i've kind of stopped up a little bit so anyway no fevers or anything like that just i think it's probably my sinuses draining me down every may and june like when the flowers start blooming in March and April, never bothers me, ever. It doesn't even face me. It's the end of May, beginning of June. I think it's the ragweed around here that really gets me, and that's when I kind of start feeling down. But other than that, I'm okay. Allie is still on the mend. Thank the Lord she's been fever-free for about 24 hours now. Um, her throat does still hurt, so she just kind of lay on the couch and relaxed them. Anyway, I have took the day, well, not the whole day, but I took the morning this morning, going over curriculum i have been thinking about what to use next year praying about what to use next year and i finally got it figured out y'all i finally got it all down i've got it here on paper and i ordered it this morning i usually order my curriculum like in march so with tomorrow being june i'm like really late on ordering it which is fine it's okay i'm going to show you what I'm ordering and then once it comes in I'll also show you um, the curriculum once it comes in so this right here y'all this is how I do things every single year I just get out a notebook or my planner this is my planner and I just start jotting things down so homeschool curriculum for 2022-2023 is as listed so Kylie will be in the 11th grade and I have her down for English 3 um, which would be Bob Jones online algebra 2 is Bob Jones online pre-med science we are doing through master books computer science that's the only one i have not found yeah i'm still looking um violin three is just her normal violin lessons she just kind of advances each year and then agriculture we are doing that through gathered round she offers like a farming unit so we're going to be using that and then moving on to Allie, she'll be my ninth grader and english two will be bob jones online algebra one bob jones online pre-med science is master books and what's fun about this is i'm doing that for both of these girls my 11th and 9th grader because it goes from 9th to 12th grade um so they actually can do that together which is going to be fun u.s history is going to be master books government is gathered round. they have a really fun unit on government that i used uh for Kylie in ninth grade and then her agriculture is the exact same as Kylie, so they can also do that one together PE and health. Let's see what I do. I did, um, was it Abeka or Bob Jones? Oh goodness, I can't remember. It was either Abeka or Bob Jones. It's not online, it's just the books. And then Bible is just going to be what we put together um, from studying the Bible, her youth, VBS. You can count all of those things as ours. So that. Now moving on to my only middle schooler, which is Emily. She'll be in the seventh grade. Um, I am doing Math 7 with her, which is Bob Jones online. I'm going to do Mystery of History with her this year. English 7 will, will be Bob Jones Online. Um, this general science comes from Master Books and it's actually offered as a credit. So she'll be getting a credit in the 7th grade. Um, writing, let's see, what I do for writing? I can't remember. Yeah, writing is Bob Jones and then Bible is going to go along with the Mystery of History plus her own personal Bible reading time. And then Holly, my 4th grader. Science is going to be master books. Can't remember the exact name of it. I'll, if I go inside and go on the computer, I will show y'all. But science is master books. It's actually going to be a group subject with Amy and Bethany. So I just pulled the science up on my phone. This is what I'm going to be doing with my three elementary kids. It's adventures and the physical world. I got them their own individual little workbook. And I'm just going to tear the pages out and stick them in their folders for that week. I think that will work better. I did science with them as a group this year and it worked great. So I'm going to do it again um her let's see i've got i had some lines made here but her math will be online bob jones her english will be online bob jones she's going to do mystery of history with emily and then bible i'm going to do bible with um her amy and bethany all three together and that's going to be a becca too that will be online and they'll just have their little workbooks there in front of them i'm i don't remember what i had done this for oh because i was showing that it was a group with emily okay Next is Amy. She will be my second grader. Science is the same as Holly and Bethany. So for social studies, we're using a Becca, and she'll be doing that with Bethany. Language arts is a Becca, her own level. Math, her own level from Becca. And Bible is group with a Becca. And then Bethany, my last one on here, is going to be my first grader. And her science is a group with Amy. 
Abeka is um, social studies, that's also group, and then her own level of Abeka phonics and math, and then Bible is also group. Oh, and then actually I ordered something for a Natalie and Everly, but I don't have it written down. I did um, a little workbook for four-year-olds from Becca for a Natalie, and then a three-year-old workbook for Everly since she's three. I said all of that just in time because as I got done, they ran out here wanting me to open their crackers. Okay, y'all want some Ritz crackers for a snack? Oh, bless you, Everly. I feel like that was a mouthful, so hopefully I didn't just bore y'all to pieces <laughs> trying to watch this but if you're also homeschooling I know you probably found my interesting because I've been watching homeschool videos myself so I know how it is anyway um, tonight for dinner we're actually doing Marco's pizza we have not done that in forever and I just figured it'd be a good pizza tonight a lot of people are just feeling kind of not the best so and Marco's is the only pizza place that actually delivers to our area so I'm thankful they're delivering all right so it is dinner time here is the ham and pineapple that looks so good and then we've got just the cheese pizza pepperoni pizza and then the salad y'all ready to eat yes yeah. yeah. you want let's see want you want cheese. cheese okay cheese pizza for the girls it's all, a all right here's Sammy's pizza Mama. Natalie May all right, dinner is over. I'm bringing out two bags of trash real quick. Y'all, it is hot out here. I'm talking about hot. Now to the garage freezer to get some chicken out for tomorrow night. Oop. Well, where are you, Light? Always hit the wrong switch there. Let me get out these two packs of chicken. Go ahead and meet all of this out. We've had a lot of beef over the weekend. A lot of, a lot of cows. So it's time to have some chicken. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna let these thaw out for a little while, and then I'll stick them in the fridge. All right, y'all, so it is now the next day, and I'm getting ready to put dinner in the crock pot. I am trying a new recipe here. I'm going to be making Catalina chicken in the crock pot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and mix the ingredients together. I've already got my chicken sitting over in the crock pot now. Um, I'm just going to be using this classic Catalina dressing. It calls for one cup, but since I'm doing two big packs of chicken, I'm going to go in with more than one cup. That's about one and a half cups there. And then you wanna use one pack of the onion soup mix. I just have the Lipton here, but you can also use like the Great Value brand if you wanted to. I just had this in my pantry already. So I'm gonna put that in there. And now it calls for one and a half cups of peach preserves and I don't have quite a whole jar there. So I think I'm just gonna use what's left cause that's about one and a half cups there. All right, so now I'm gonna mix all of this together. It actually also calls for um, red pepper flakes, but I'm leaving that part out just because I don't want it to be too spicy for the kids. All right, so now I'm just gonna pour this all over my chicken. I think I will serve this over rice tonight with some green beans. That sounds pretty good. I'm gonna put the lid on, and then I'm gonna let it cook on low for about six hours. You ready for some lunch, Millie? You want some lunch? See, yummy. All right, so it is a while later now. It's 1.30. And we are headed out, y'all, for the past five days, besides our one ER visit Sunday night to take Allie for that checkup, we have not been out of the house, like, at all, because we've just been in, letting her recover and get better. Of course, Josh has been at work, and some of the girls went to church with him Sunday morning, but me, myself, personally, I haven't left the house in five days besides the hospital. That's not where you want to go. So, anyway, we've got a couple of errands to run now. I told the girls that I would stop and get them donuts today. This will be in the town where they have a Dunkin'. We don't have a Dunkin' here where we live. I mean, it's not that far from us, but it's kind of out of the way. So Hallie wants a coffee. I may get a coffee. I may get an iced coffee. I don't want donuts. And Allie likes those strawberry freshers. Allie, do you want a strawberry fresher? Yeah, she, you're welcome. She wants a strawberry fresher. We're always dodging scooters in the driveway. popular iced coffees right now she said cake batter and butter pecan so I'm trying the butter pecan that sounds good I'm hoping it's good I usually get the blueberry crisp latte from here I'm gonna try something new today thanks you too so butter pecan so butter pecan from Duncan the best all right, so we're back home and I've got green beans going over here in the pot and I'll put the rice on probably in like 25, 30 minutes, something like that. All right, y'all, so here's dinner. Green beans, rice with Catalina chicken. Looks good. I haven't tasted it yet. The girl said it's good. They've already tasted theirs, but it looks good. Alright, 
so we are done with dinner. I'm starting to get kids ready for bed now. It's getting a little bit later, but y'all, that chicken was so good. I'll definitely be adding that to our menu sometimes. I've never made that before. I made Catalina chicken in like a casserole dish and it was years ago and I don't remember how I done it, but this was way better in the crock pot with the peach preserves and the onion soup mix and then cooking all day and then putting it over rice. It was perfect. So I highly suggest trying that. It's a really easy meal to put together, but so good. Even the girls went back for seconds. Josh loved it. Can you blow a kiss? Oh. She's giving me a kiss. Can you blow a kiss? Oh. <laughs> Say nat nat. Nat nat. Yeah, nat nat. Bye bye. Bye bye.